Twitter disappointed a lot of investors dating back to the IPA all the way through, call it mid-2016. And because of that, it took, it's taken the street a long time to warm up to the idea that you know, Twitter is self-corrected. And you know, what we saw off the last print where um, you know, Twitter had ripped off of 4Q17 earnings was simply um, essentially a short squeeze given that the entire street was positioned long Facebook, short Snap, short Twitter, mm -hmm. right? So um, you know, that being said, you know, when we're looking at what had happened with Twitter versus where they are today, it's two completely different stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, your call used to be very straightforward. They're not yeah. going to hit revenue estimates. They're not going to hit top line metrics. Right. It was a big top line short. It was an easy, even I could understand it. Right, I mean, right. It was a really easy one. I'm, and as a power user of the product, it was actually a little bit more difficult to short something that you use, but that reminded me that there's a difference between a good stock and a good product. Right. Um, but now it's it's based on revenue acceleration. Right, right, right. And there's a difference between a good product and a good business model. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and that was that was the whole premise of our short back, you know, 2015 through 2016 on mm -hmm. and off at times was that the business model that they were running at the time was unsustainable. It was largely driven by stuffing more and more ad load down the user's throat which in turn was pushing the users away at the same time, which was a creating somewhat of a snowball effect or a downward cycle of uh, spiral, if you will, which ultimately led to its restructuring in 3Q, 4Q, 16. Hmm. Since then, they've been right-sizing the model and prioritizing a product that is one, easier to monetize, but two, has a higher effective CPM. By CPM, we mean, um, or actually we'll call it RPM, revenue per thousand impressions, if you will. So. Um, basically how much revenue they get per unit of ad load. Mm. So uh, what has happened off of that is during 2017, they've been gutting ad load out of their model, and then come 2018, they're now in a position where that their previously core product um, is now a much, much smaller percentage of their revenue, so it's less of a drag on the model. Meanwhile, their, their newer product, this autoplay video product, uh, that ultimately is still growing like a weed and it's allowing Twitter to return to revenue growth, which we just saw in the last mm -hmm. part. Now, there's still people who are very, very bared up on the name because they don't want to believe that, they're, um, that, that Twitter's uh, circumstances have changed, largely because they ate it so badly on the long side <laughs> when they were there. Um, but it's a completely different animal.